welcome back to a brand new video of Joshua Plays. In today's video, I will be teaching you how how to see if someone is online in Roblox. So, um, first things first, like let's just um, hop into a game, and then I'll get on it all after. And then, um, yeah. So first, we're going to load into a random game. Just load into a random game. You don't have to do this, but. I'm going to do this for like fun, so once you've done this, um, load into the game, and then now what you want to do now is you just um, want to leave the game again, you want to leave, so leave the game. So the next step we have to do is go over here. Okay guys, so I think you should see it now. So um now type in Ropro. Type in like Ropro. Ropro. But then this should pop up and then what you want to do is press this. And then what you want to do is press install on Chrome. I already have Ropro. So it should say something like um, this right here. It should like say this. And now you can see all these options. You can see all these options, but we want to do is we want to go like pick a random person for example I'm going to pick Roblox then make sure it's people and then go right here <laughs> go right here and then there's a great button here and then what you want to do is tap on it and then this says when they were online which was 18 months ago which is crazy which is wild you know it's wild to think about. He was online for like 18 months. That's why. So what we want to do now is um, you can like do something. So I'm going to go inside my alt right now. So I'm going to switch my account. I'm going to go on my alt. Now what we want to do is we can see all these people and I can see this guy. Um, we can see I'm still online. But I'm actually not online. So, that's basically how you do it, you know? Like, you can see whoever is online, you know? So, I'm going to pick, like, um, this person, for example. He was online um, 42 minutes ago. And, um, yeah, that's how you um, see when someone was online or not. So, yeah. So what we want to do now is we want to go here, go here, go, wait, wait, one second, guys, wait, 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 okay, be right back, guys, and another thing I want to clear out is in today's video, not only we are going, I am going to be teaching you how to use how to use the online button. I will be teaching you how to use Ropro, like in all, in total. So what we're going to do is, uh, make sure you're on the Roblox homepage. Um, so once you've gone to the Roblox homepage, just go here, and then you should see this right here. So when you're on the Roblox homepage, what you want to do now is you want to go over here you want to um go back to your account okay go back to your original account if you don't it so what you want to do now is you want to go to a random game i'm just going to pick easy obby for example and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to servers and now i'm going to pick, press this button right here and then it should say all these buttons but these four costs cost money in real life money so you cannot use these ones but you can use these ones because these are cool so for example what if you try doing small servers or available space or play account random shuffle so for example i'm going to do random shuffle right now so let's hop into a game so i'm going to hop in and are we loading in so like basically like you know, that's how you do it, you know? That's all how you do it. So, once you've been in the game, you can um, see how 
what servers there are. So I'm going to do this, pull up the screen. You know what? Never mind. So um, go here, go to your game you're going to do, but then it should show up like a black screen like this, and that is normal. That is totally normal. So to use RoPro. And for the mobile players out there, I'm sorry, you can't use this, as you can see. Um, but you want to know something? You want to know something? There's other servers out there that have more available room space. Um, I'm going to do, like, a thing, for example. I'm going to here. And um, you guys should see this. This should pop up. And now what you want to do is you want to go here. And then, um, yeah, as I said before, like, all you have to do is go here, then random server space. And then um, you could do random shuffle. You could do a um, random shuffle. And then this stuff should pop up. Um, and you could go in the, into any random shuffle server. And um, that is basically how you use RoPro. And then another feature to do it is feature I'm going to pick this game for example I'm going to go here I'm going to go um player count or something let's just um do player count so you can do player count you could do 19 people you could do 20 people or less I'm going to do 20 for example and it is loading some games for us to do it and this might take a while because yeah, this might show up. It might show up like this. And like, do popular games, you know? Like, do like, Blocksroots, Dot Me, you can do Life Together Roleplay. You can do your favorite games, you know? So, that is how you use RoPro. So, if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.